Welcome back to Liberty Falls. Hope you guys are all doing well. In this one, we're going to keep it short and we're going to cover how to open the vault in the Liberty Falls Savings and Loans building. It requires three keys, three numbers to be put in. The first one you can find right here on the table outside is number 22. We're looking for these yellow sticky notes around the map. So the first number here is 22. For the next one, you can head out the street out to the street, across the road, and into the bowling alley. Now, it's on the bar. So this is the spawn room down here. It's on the bar over here. And it's actually hidden underneath. It's hidden right here. And when this bottle cap goes away, it's 19. So we know that the first number is 22. And the last number is 19. For the final number, if we take a quick run over to the comic shop, which is through this way. It should be on the desk or in the desk somewhere behind the worktop or behind the counter. Here it's here and it's 42. So we now know it is 22, 42, 19. We can head back inside the savings and loan building. 22, 42, 19. So 22, 42, and 19 that unlocks the vault and that is the three numbers that you need to open the vault once you're in the vault you can use the personal item key that you get and you will be able to open up some safe uh, some safe boxes in there you can get them from killing manglers i don't currently have one but i will come back when i get one okay we are a couple of rounds on now and i've just got a loot key it actually came from a mangler you can see it's corpse here i'm going to grab the loot key Oh, perfect, we've got a zombie still. Grab the loot key, head round to the vault, and I'm going to head into the vault. And here we've got some essence, and we've got some safe deposit boxes we can unlock. If we loot it, we can see here we're getting an MP5, a blue C9, MP5, mutant injection, some intel, and some armor. Let me grab the last armor, and I'll take that plate with me. There are different rarities for each of the keys. Obviously, there's a bunch of lock boxes in here you can come back in and get. And you're on a timer, so when you're done, you can head out. And that's how to use the vault in Liberty Falls.